Pressure is building on the Biden administration to prepare for a more aggressive response should China continue with its military provocations. They are increasingly aggressive, revisionist power bent on displacing us as the dominant power in the Pacific and I believe globally. So we need to wake up by projecting weakness, by pursuing detente with the CCP. We only invite aggression and they will only continue to test our boundaries. For context, consider China's recent actions. Just this weekend, a Chinese warship cut in front of a US destroyer traversing the Taiwan Strait with a Canadian warship. At 150 yards, they were dangerously close. China claims the strait as its territorial waterway, while the US rightly views access as essential to maintain the principle of freedom of navigation. Also worth noting that the incident took place just hours after this from Lloyd Austin, who was speaking at a defense conference in Singapore. We do not seek conflict or confrontation, but we will not flinch in the face of bullying or coercion. In a separate incident, what the Pentagon describes as an unnecessarily aggressive maneuver by a Chinese fighter jet on May 26th. The J-16 came within 400 yards of a US reconnaissance plane that was flying in international airspace above the South China Sea. China claims the jet was flying in an area where their military was conducting exercises. We would hope that they would alter their actions, uh, but since they haven't yet, I'm concerned about uh, at some point uh, having an incident that could very, very quickly spiral out of control. Also speaking at the defense conference in Singapore was the Chinese defense minister who snubbed US efforts to set up a bilateral meeting. In fact, China has effectively shut down all military-to-military -military communication between the two countries. Remember too that Chinese jets also buzzed US aircraft over the South China Sea in both December and February. So this wasn't a one-off incident. You know, one of the reasons we want to keep the lines of communication open, in fact, one of the reasons why we want to make sure we can get that military to military, military channel back open is so that you know, we have a way to, to, to talk to the, to the Chinese uh, about incidents like this one uh, that could lead to miscalculation and misunderstanding and maybe getting somebody hurt. The risk of an accidental confrontation is growing, but so is the risk that China will perceive weakness if Mr. Biden responds to its provocations by appeasing Xi Jinping. We will, I hope, soon see uh, American officials engaging at senior levels with their Chinese counterparts over the coming months to continue that work. And then at some point we will see President Biden and President Xi come back together again. A war in the Western Pacific would be a disaster for the world. But the Chinese war hawks need to understand that their military provocations make it harder for the US administration to pursue bilateral detente. In the meantime, Republican lawmakers want the Biden administration to spend more on defense, particularly given this year's defense budget is tantamount to a cut when you factor in inflation. Biden administration officials should stop chasing after their Chinese communist counterparts like love-struck teenagers. It's embarrassing and it's pathetic. In fact, it projects weakness to China. 